I am taking four ferries over the next four nights and I am calling it a DIY cruise. I'll be spending every night on a ferry and every day exploring a new destination. All to answer the question, can this be a budget and realistic alternative to a traditional cruise? Over the next week, I'm gonna find out. I'm taking a 12 hour overnight ferry from mainland France to Corsica. I arrived in Toulon at about 1.30 this afternoon and I've just spent a very chilled out few hours walking around the town, having some ice cream, having a glass of wine. Then I headed over to the terminal and checked into my ferry. So this is the third ferry that I've been on in three nights. And this one so far is looking a little bit different. I think it is quite a lot bigger. So let's go and have a little walk around. It is a busy ship tonight. I guess lots of locals take this ferry as a Friday night and head to Corsica for the weekend. There are queues for all of the restaurants. I'm on floor number eight at the moment. Behind me is the conference room, which seems to be shut. There is a family room next to me. And then I think this is just outdoor access. Now I did just go outdoors and it's so windy at the moment. Loads of people are outside, but it's too windy for me to be honest. Let's go down to floor number seven. So behind me is the queue for the yellow self-service restaurant. You can see it is long and it's actually essentially getting longer. And then as I go through, I've got the other restaurants on my right hand side and seating areas on the left. I've got Main Street, which is a burger bar, Dolce Vita, which is like a sit-down a la carte restaurant, and Sweet Cafe, which is a cafe and desserts. And I don't know if this will be popping off later, <laughs> but this is where they sell drink. And there's a lot of seating area here. There's screens and it is very, very busy. So that is number seven. And then here we have Gusto. Italian pizza. I'm very glad I looked at the map. I may be tempted to forfeit the self-dining and have that instead. Mm. And get my Corsica souvenirs before I've even arrived in Corsica. So this is Gusto Italian pizza. It's busy, but it's not quite as busy as the restaurants upstairs. I'm gonna get pizza, I've decided. I just need to find the toilet first. So this is the main reception area information, but I came in onto floor four, which is two down, and that is where my cabin is. Finally, the toilet was a wild goose chase. It would have been quicker to go back to my cabin. <laughs> right, we're back at the pizza bar now. The queue to actually get the pizza took a little bit longer than anticipated, but actually the making of it was very quick. So I've got it here. It looks it looks good. It looks a little bit takeaway style. Well, it is takeaway style pizza, I guess. We are not in Italy, but we are close to Italy. Corsica Ferries is next to Sardinia, which is Italy. So I'm hoping it'll be decent. Oh, the chart. That was very good, actually. I'm glad I had that, something a bit different. We have had a couple of announcements. We're expected to arrive at 7 a.m. now instead of 6 a.m., which is fine. <laughs> That's more than fine. So other than Gusto and the shop, it is just cabins here. And then the fifth and the fourth floor are all cabins as well. It's quite the walk back to my cabin that took about seven minutes, I think. As this cruise ferry is on a Friday, I did pay about £40 more than my ferry last night. And my room is not as nice. I don't have a window for one. And it just seems quite a lot less spacious. Let's show you what I mean. This is as we go in. So as you can see, there's only one bed there and one pull down up there. And then like we've seen in the other ferries, there is a ladder here as well places to hang your stuff up somewhere to put your magazines and then large mirror here i look tired <laughs> and a bin let's test the bed so the bed's a bit weird it kind of sinks in the middle it will be fine but it's a bit of a strange mattress <laughs> then here there are two plugs and another mirror the cleanest of mirrors i must say and then that is probably where they shout at me to wake up in the morning. And this is temperature control, I'm guessing. Temperature feels okay here at the moment. And then in here we have the bathroom. So we have the shower here, complete with a squeegee. That looks dirty, ooh. Ooh, that's quite gross. <laughs> and there's some bugs that we're taking to Corsica with us. <laughs> Not sure if I'll be using that shower. I think it might make me feel dirtier. <laughs> Here we've got the toilet, the toilet roll, sink. Sink looks fairly clean. And soap. 
everything. I must say, I am a little bit put out by that bathroom. That does not smell clean in the slightest. One thing that is worth pointing out is every single ship that I've been on so far, I have seen people with glob hair mattresses just like in corners. And I've never really thought about doing that before. I do sleep quite well on air mattresses, but it all depends on if they turn the lights out or not. If they don't turn the lights out, it could be very difficult to sleep. If they do, it might be all right. What would you do if you were on this? Would you pay for a cabin or would you be happy to do that? I'm curious to know. Can anyone tell me if it's possible for your phone to drain quicker than you're charging it? Because I currently have this charged into my power bank. I have 13% battery and I really want to watch Emily in Paris. Got my milker, let's find it and play. Woohoo! I have waited a month for this. I don't know what Netflix thinks it's playing at releasing series a bit at a time, but leaves us all on tenterhooks. <laughs> I was only planning on watching one episode of Emily in Paris and I ended up watching three. So I'm gonna go to bed now. It's 11.20. I need to sleep because apparently we get into Bastia in seven and a half hours. <laughs> so good night. Good morning. It is about 20 past six. And we arrive in Bastia about seven. I think I'm not wild about it. So if someone, one of the guys who works on the boat just knocked on the door, presumably to wake me up, but then they actually opened the door. I'd locked it last night. Not, I do know that obviously they do have to wake people up, but I'm not that wild about people actually being able to open my room. I was in bed. <laughs> I'm not going to have a shower because the shower is very dirty. I'm just going to get changed. Make sure I've got everything packed and I should be ready to go in about 10 minutes. Woohoo! I should not have stayed up watching two more episodes of Emily in Paris last night. <laughs> I definitely could have got an hour's more sleep if I had not done that. <laughs> cool, you definitely don't get this on a cruise. <laughs> I've just had three knocks on my door telling me I need to leave the bedroom. <laughs> been packing the whole time. I've said, you know, <laughs> I do understand that they need to clean the room, but <laughs> you're not told what time at any point. They just tell you at any moment within sort of half an hour to an hour of you arriving that they need the room back. So anyway, I'm leaving now. <laughs> the hilarious thing was all of the evacuated cabins in my area hadn't been made up at all. There are a lot of people already waiting in the stairwell, but I'm in no rush at all. So I think I'm gonna go back upstairs and see if I can find somewhere to sit down. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's 6.30 a.m. We will be birthing in the part of Bastia at 7 a.m. As a foot passenger, I don't think it'll be at least 45 minutes until I get off. I can see Bastia, but we're definitely not there yet. So I've got a pan of chocolate. I'm gonna make a rehydration drink with this, my trusty rehydration capsules and just sit and watch Corsica roll in and then I will try and get outside before we actually arrive. <laughs> Pano chocolates on French ferries never let me down. Just come outside and I've just made it for sunrise. the bar Chiosco behind me. Obviously not open right now. It may have been open last night, but when I tell you it was windy leaving Toulon, <laughs> I don't think that many people would have been out here. We'll just walk around this side and I can see Bastia. I was sitting in the waiting room for a little while doing some work on my laptop. Then I was in no uncertain terms kicked out. So I'm now walking to where I have booked some luggage storage for the day. Obviously this is one of the things you have to think about on your, on your DIY cruise that you do have to drop this off at various points rather than leave it on a on a cruise cabin so i'm just walking to my drop off now so this will all be in another video so thank you so much for watching this one i've got one more ferry video of the trip to do still and i will be doing another video all around corsica so i hope i'll see you there bye